So I can really see in my own life that the, the most loving and powerful act I, I have ever done is to, to really give up the right to be a victim of my thoughts and emotions and all other data. So that sounds maybe simple, but we all know that we are so trained to keep on being a victim to our own thoughts and emotions, to what other people say and do, to our circumstances, to our past, you know, anything. But really, that is where it's at. And, and in the empowerment training, that's really what we see. That we all have the power and decision to really give up that right. And um, I can only see in my own life that that wouldn't be possible if I didn't have a very loving, supporting and safe environment to, to test this again and again, to repeat it again and again when I face myself nakedly, when I just face everything and avoid nothing. That is one of my favorite sentences from the empowerment training. Uh, and to really see there and be completely open and clear that all the habits uh, I have accumulated through a life in how I treat myself and others, how I manage my data, uh, was just learned. So now I have the opportunity to really just change the whole program I use in the way I manage my data. And now see that the default setting of any human being is to see that our mind is already clear, our heart is already pure, we are already naturally perfect, that's our default setting. So now we have a program that really shows that to us, that when we treat the data by just letting them be as they are, that's what we come to see. Wow, I mean, what a discovery. And, and I haven't met anyone that, that doesn't need some kind of support to recognize that that is the default setting. Like where we live today in the human history, where we are today, it's just we are so trained in innocent misunderstandings. That's all there is to it. It's just innocent misunderstandings of who we truly are. Because we just... If you're like me, you just believe we need to do something with all this data. To feel safe, to be included, you know, just to be in life, to be in the world. So really, to, to rely on the four mainstays is a life investment. So it's a life education program. And what is so amazing is that it's a life education program that you bring with you wherever you are. So whatever you decide to study, whatever you decide to do with your life, this is part of your life. It doesn't exclude you from, from doing what you really would like to do. To study what you really would like to study. To live the life you really like to live. But now, we are empowered beyond even understanding how that works, to really live a life based on what is of most benefit to all, including ourself. That's the default setting. When you see that you are pure, clear, and perfect already, the default setting is that there is nothing else than living a life spontaneously to the benefit of all. So we really start to love our spontaneous existence. And not only love that, we start to trust that, and that's enough. So all of our energy can be available to simply live to contribute. Because we trust that now. Completely and instinctively we trust that we can just spontaneously exist. And your birthright is to be able to spontaneously exist in any moment. What a relief. All this thinking about living your life and now you can just spontaneously live it instead. Sounds so simple, doesn't it? <sighs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's just um, the greatest relief and the greatest empowerment. 
And I remember when I went through the empowerments and I, I just had in my face all these learned strategies about how to manage my data, my relationships, all the, the things of you know, my reactionary behavior to, oh, I feel so hurt now, or oh, I'm so angry now, or I'm this, you know, all this. To really see it out there. It was so powerful because it gave me such motivation that I don't want to, to be a slave of all this information anymore. It's fine to feel angry, to feel hurt, to hate someone, you know, totally fine, but I don't need to be so, take it so personal. <laughs> You know, so that's the empowerment. You stop to really take all this data so personal and so serious. You see it as this dynamic display of being a human being, but it's not so scary or so exhausting or, you know, it's just there. So just going through the empowerments and, and having the great opportunity to face all of this and see it so clearly was my biggest motivation to say, okay, <laughs> Fine, I see that I have so many strategies, like so many things that I've been reacting on and this, that, and the other, but okay, I don't need to do that anymore. And to repeat that decision that I don't need to do that anymore. So this is really at the core of how I now relate to myself and others. And, and it never looks a certain way, but, but what I see is that I, I love this instruction that Candice one time gave that, you know, give another three minutes to talk about the data. And then you can ask for what you see as a solution in this situation. You don't need to go in as moralist and say, I don't want to hear gossip, stop gossiping, or you, this is bad, the world doesn't need this, or, you know, we could go in anywhere. But, but I, it, it, that feels that I come then from, you know, a point of view of anger and, 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 and just really, just, you know, I know better. <laughs> but I don't know better. I don't know anything anymore, but I trust my spontaneous existence. There's <laughs> nothing to know about that, really. Uh, but that's, that instruction has been really helpful because I use that towards myself also. So when I find myself in this, you know, mm, not good enough, not good enough, or <laughs> I'm so depressed, I'm so depressed. <laughs> Three minutes and then, okay, not think about it anymore. Just relax instead. And this you can keep with you because there's nothing you need to go out there and defend. A lifestyle you need to defend but you can really see for yourself what is possible for any human being to do, and that is a transmission beyond words, beyond symbols, including words and symbols. But the bottom line is that you are empowered to live a spontaneous existence, and that is where the power lies, because then you can re really, really live your true, authentic self. And we all know what that is. Nobody else can tell you. You can only test it and see it and live it. And that is what the mainstays truly are for. And I see that these four and a half years that I've been involved in Balanced View, it has evolved with the mainstays in a way I couldn't even imagine. Due to all of us contributing, making all these videos, they don't pop up just like that, maybe in future, but there, <laughs> there's so many people involved from the very beginning of, of a video until it's published on the website. So it's just, we really do this together. So the offering we have, the support, is just amazing. So it doesn't stop anywhere and, and, and where Balanced View is going. Uh, I just know that we are doing this together and we stand up and the way we stand up is just clearer and clearer for every day due to our own experience of ourselves. It's just, I feel so supported to do that every day. If I'm here, if I'm with my parents, if I, anywhere, due to all of you. So my natural courage and passion to really do that, to show the world that we don't need to be a victim of our, of our data anymore. 
that that was just an innocent misunderstanding. It's, it's just spreads, <laughs> basically. And um, I, I lived several years in Africa, so I'm very touched by your question there. And um, I see that we could right now go to Africa and spread this training beyond the technology, including the technology, you know. It's just, it's just an endless unfolding. Uh, it's not limited by anything. And also, we don't know what will happen. Through the, all the years I lived in Africa, so many things changed. But what I see from my own experience is that no special circumstances are needed, really, for any human being to really see the true power, the true beneficial power of who you are. So I have really seen people in, in extreme po poverty, and really seeing who they are. So, of course, my deepest wish is for anyone, anywhere, to feel that that clear seeing of who you are can be supported, and not only as an insight, but be supported as a true living. There is so much suffering out there, of course, and, and when we open up to really see the suffering that we have caused to ourselves by believing in in data as having a power over us and can hurt us and all of that. Of course, we deeply understand a world of suffering then. But so much power in that, so much motivation, so much inspiration. Yeah, it's just so touching and, and I'm just so touched by my own experience of life now so that it's inseparable from being so touched by each and every one of you. It's just like... Wow, what a gift to truly be able to, to face everything and not to avoid anything because in, in the face of fear, we are fearless in our true nature. And we really come to see how similar we all are. We can have so many descriptions and labels of our data, but at the end of the day, all the data are just the breeze in the air. It's just the air dynamically expressing itself. So that's just we, over self, as our true nature, as open intelligence, as an intelligence that just opens up more and more and more. It's just we, as human beings, just naturally expressing our self dynamically, just as that air being dynam dynamically expressed with nothing holding it back, free. So now we come to see that all of our expressions, all of our data, all of our thoughts and emotions are free in themselves. We don't need to do anything. Just to completely just trust the natural unfolding of each moment, of each datum. Wow. That, that's just radical. <laughs>